tape these off, fire it up, and show you what a free exhaust mod sounds like on a ZX6R. I put it's free as the key here. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Driveway Demons. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, tap the bell, give me a thumbs up, comment below, follow me on all socials, Driveway Demon, as well as Acrylics. Link's right there, the Acrylics, one and only, all socials for the live game stream. We're back with Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R. Had this bike a day, you don't believe me? I'm over here and show you the gauge cluster. It has a one mile on Brand new. And we're already removing the exhaust. So if you want to do an exhaust on this bike, you got the M4 slip-on 389. You got the M4 carbon, it's like 500 bucks. You got the Graves, it's about $600. You also have a Kropovich, which is not my first choice because I don't like mufflers that block the whole swing arm. I'm not a fan of that. I like the ones that are kind of mid-muffler style and come out the side, but that's just my personal preference for look. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop off the seat and anybody who knows enough about the ZX6R. So this is the factory muffler. I'm gonna tell you guys how easy this is to come off. It's gonna be sitting in just like this, all right? One 10 millimeter bolt on this side with a 13 millimeter nut on that side, loosen it. 10 millimeter under here. And then of course the 10 millimeter nut retainers on the servo motor. When you are trying to get these out, they are a pain in the butt. I'll tell you that right now. When it's sitting like this, just pretend the nut's off. When it's sitting up here like this, you gotta put a screw in here. You have to put a screwdriver in between here and kind of pull back on the spring to release them. Once you do that, you can release this nut and pull this off. This shield, it's held on by two hex nuts. And that is pretty much it. This should take you no more than five minutes to pull off. Don't touch any of the cables and you disconnect the muffler and you don't mess with the cable. You're not gonna get a check engine light. I didn't get a check engine light. I didn't get a low power light, nothing. Nothing's happened um, and it drives the same. So what I've done is I have disconnected them and I'm going to tie them just for now because I'm deleting these cables and pulling them out. But just for a test, I wanna see if I get a check engine light. So if you want an exhaust system that's cheap and free, basically, you can remove the muffler, remove the cables, and just run it with this mid muffler with this black cover on it. Because this thing here is actually a resonator from the factory, then it goes into a muffler with a valve. So you just remove the muffler, remove the servo cables, and tuck them inside here. I think you're gonna wanna leave the servo cables on. I'm not sure if that's the reason why I don't have a check engine light, I'm really not 100% sure. But a friend of mine said that by leaving the cables connected, prevents the light from coming on. So leave them connected and just tie them off like I'm doing and so you can afford a servo buddy. So if you can't afford a servo buddy for 60 bucks and an exhaust right away, then you can do that. Tuck the cables or leave them connected to the servo motor and just tuck them away. As Soon as you have money, get the servo buddy first because the servo buddy will actually keep the flap and the stock exhaust wide open. So you don't have to worry about it closing to be you know, quieter and opening up when you rev it up. You got a stock exhaust, get the servo buddy first. It keeps the flap open all the way. Then if you wanna remove this muffler, tie off the cables, then you're gonna have a nice sound and it's free and the servo buddy's working yet again. Every exhaust has different tones. This may not sound as good as a Kropovich or Grave, but it's gonna be pretty close, but it's free is the key here. Only thing I don't like is that if you're gonna do something like this, it's gonna vent all the moisture on your swing arm. So protect the swing arm with spray, like uh, moisture repellent, stuff like that, and eventually get a slip on. So we're gonna fire it up. I'm just gonna take these off, fire it up, and show you what a free exhaust mod sounds like on a ZX6R. I promise you, as long as you leave the cables like right here, and as long as you leave the servo motor plugged in, the cables in and untouched, you'll be good. Free exhaust mod. As soon as you get a servo buddy, you ditch the servo motor and the cables, you get it all out, and you got a free exhaust for now until you can afford a slip on because this bike is badass the way it is. It doesn't really need much. I'm gonna zip tie that, then we're gonna get to starting up the bike. All right, guys, so with the exhaust off, this is what it will sound like. This is free, by the way, free. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've got my full suit on right now. It's really a track-ready suit. Some people say it's overkill for the streets. I don't care. Got Dainese Misano pants, Alpine Stars SMX 6B2s, full boots. Um, I got the GT Plus R vented jacket, uh, leather. So I've got the SPX carbon gloves and my helmet. And what I want to tell you guys is I want to show you how you zip this in. I'm wearing full compression underneath. This way it's cooler for the summer, but it also makes it easier to get in out of your gear. I've zipped my jacket into my pants. So you can see how you do that. This way when you're skidding across the ground, God forbid, um, you see the jacket won't slide up. It keeps everything intact. I don't, I'm wearing a scarf because I didn't buy my neck warmer like I should have, and it's a little chilly today, and I don't feel like being cold, but I'm ready to go. God, I ride my bike for the first time.
new bike, even if you're, let's say not an amateur and you're a moderate rider with some experience or whatnot, you can't rip a motorcycle right off the showroom floor like some people have done on YouTube. And I'll show you why. There is a coating on these tires. You see how it's shiny here? And you can hear the squeak. Now look over here where I've got five miles. You, you have to break the tire. In. You gotta lean the bike and you gotta use the entire contact patch on the bike, or on the tire, so to speak, for at least like 20 miles, 30 miles, and so that there's no shiny residue on the tire. Because if not, you're gonna lose traction even in hot weather. Once you break the tire in, then you'll be able to do what you wanna do once the engine's broken in. But you gotta be very careful, and this goes for anybody. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Taking the exhaust off the Ninja just to see what it would sound like with the factory resonator. I got the M4 exhaust on the way, but it's a lot of fun driving this bike. And as you can tell by the exhaust, you can hear it a mile away as it is, and it's only gonna be a little bit louder once I get the M4 on there. And if I go with a full exhaust, it's gonna be insane. Still breaking the bike in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, give me a like, thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Everybody comment, chat with me. Let's get a group discussion going on here. I got some more content coming for you guys on the GT350 as well as the Duramax, and of course the Kawasaki KX250 behind me. Be sure to check me out right there, information on the screen the acrylics one and only for all my game streams i will catch all of you guys on the next upload or live stream thank you so much for being here i'm out of here we'll catch you on the flip side peace